Good day, brothers and sisters. Another day to spend with the Lord. Come, let us listen and reflect on His Word. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to His disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord Our Father the Lord's Prayer shares some semblance with the ancient Jewish prayers, the Quadish and the Amida. The Quadish prayer is a hymn of praise to God, recited in Aramaic with synagogue services. A prayer leader proclaims, glorified and sanctified be God's great name throughout the world which He has created according to His will. May He establish His kingdom in your lifetime and during your days. And the assembly responds, May His great name be blessed forever to all eternity. In addition, while standing, the Jews recite silently the morning, afternoon, and evening prayers, which are expressions of praises, thanksgiving, petitions, and benedictions. In the Lord's Prayer, Jesus injects something new. His disciples are to address God with a familial term, Abba, the Aramaic term equivalent to Daddy, Papa, or Itai. Jesus tells His disciple to maintain this special father-son relationship, which is consistent with the Christian belief that in Jesus, we have become God's adopted children. St. Paul reiterates this special privilege as proof that you are children. God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father.